conducting the water test on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As usual by checking the layer of oleophobic coating on both sides of this corning glass production. As of now during production of this video, we are not sure about which glass production is being used on the Note 10 Plus since it's not yet listed on the corning website. So let's assume that it may be similar to the Galaxy S10 Plus with Type 6 on the front and 5 at the back. The oleophobic layer does a great job of lessening fingerprint smudges to accumulate on the glass display and its presence is proved when water rolls off the glass surface instead of sticking to it, like on devices without the presence of an oleophobic coating. Something interesting to note is that the amount of oleophobic layer at the back seems to be far less than the front. Now let's move directly on to the heavy drenching ground to begin testing the IP68 certified water resistance provided by Samsung on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Most smartphones without water resistance are not able to reach the heavy drenching ground due to the distorted low audio from the resistance speakers lasting for several hours threatening to damage the sound and display unit. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus seems to be a waterproof champion and all of this water abuse is not making much difference to it. So next up, let's start the timer and force drop the Note 10 Plus inside water to test out its IP68 certified rating. Before leaving it to marinate underwater for about 30 minutes, let's further check out what happens to the S Pen or to the sound via the XM speaker or whether we can browse underwater with our fingers or shoot pictures and videos underwater. Totally submerged underwater, the touchscreen on the Note 10 Plus works only with the S Pen and not with the fingers. The S Pen actually does an excellent job underwater for browsing like normal, to click pictures and even to shoot videos with sound. Day 2, Day 3, Day 4, the very next evening. After more than 30 minutes underwater, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus seems to have handled water exactly how we expect a flagship to. It passes my underwater test without suffering any internal damage to the sound unit, camera or spin.